Okay. That's the best we're going to get today. All right. So we are going to do customary measurements today. Now, I want to know there are three things that we measure. There's three different things that we measure. Does anybody tell me what those three things are? Jackson? Three. Uh, we measure volume. Which would be capacity. Okay, I'll go with that. Weight. I'll go with that. And width. I'll go with that. And height, wouldn't it? No. Not height? Mm -mm. Yeah, height, not width. We're going to measure these three things. We're going to measure length, height, and wait, capacity. Wait. wait a minute, are wait, we? Wait, wait. We're not height, no, weight. Yeah. I thought you were telling me to wait. Yeah, I'm with you. Wait, we're going to measure mass, how much something weighs. Mass, mass, weight of something. Yeah, I really didn't think we were going to do no, I was just kidding. At a moment. It yeah. is Monday, so and y'all already saw what's what going on. Capacity? capacity is like the volume. How much something can hold. Um, this, this empty alcohol bottle had a capacity of 16 fluid ounces. It did. Now... We've used it to clean the board and not so much anymore. So, not so much alcohol in that bottle. So, we're going to talk about capacity. Now, um, before we go through here and talk about how we change everything and how we make miles into inches and gallons into pints, which is covered up over here, but I'm going to I'm gonna uncover for the day. been taped okay so I can lay this yardstick down 120 times to do the football field okay well a regular football field I don't think ours has the end zone yeah, right. rocked off so a hundred of these for sure now I will tell you this uh, one class when one time they wanted to know how far it was from the double doors here to the playground to the double doors on the third grade end. And I said, take off. Take off. And they took off with this yardstick, laying it down, laying it down. And I had another teacher come to me and say, what? What, what are they doing? I said, they wanted to know. I told them to have at it. And so they are. And she was like, how many, how many feet did y'all say was in this? Three. Three. Three feet. A ruler is a foot. So there's going to be three in this yardstick. Oh, 
meter. I don't know how many. I don't know that at the moment. A That's meter a little, is basically a yard. Meter, yeah, basically it's bigger. But that, so she says, why are they not just what? What have I told you about these tiles when we did surface area? Oh, they're, they're perfect feet. They're one foot. They're one by one. She says, so why should? Why wouldn't they just count every? Three squares, and no, that's a yard instead of bending and picking. I said, because, you know, I tried to explain it to them, and they weren't listening, so I think they're fine. <laughs> Let them lay a yardstick down for every three. And when they come back, one of them said, Miss Skinner, every time we lay them down, it would land right on the edge of a, on a block. I was like, because how many feet are in a yard? Three. I said, what is your tiles? Are you kidding Miss Skinner, I'm like, I'm not kidding. I thought y'all would catch on, but you didn't catch on. So, that's the story to that. So, yeah, I can lay out 100 of these across the football field. Hey, okay, babe. Oh, what was the answer? I don't even know? remember. I don't remember what it was. It was ridiculous in my own thing. Now, what would be under a yard? What? A foot. Yep. A foot. What's a, smaller than a yard? It's a foot. And what's smaller than a foot? An inch. An inch. An inch. So that would be, most of you know this, from your knuckle to knuckle, that's about an inch. That's about an inch. So if I were to... Show you this. I don't think you can see it. That's about an inch. It is about an inch on my on my ruler. This yeah. Isn't a centimeter on here? Or is that metric? There is a centimeter if you turned your. That's metric. That's metric. I thought you meant on my ruler. Mill. We're not. We're not doing millimeters. Okay. So this is. I'm, no, I'm just wondering how you spell it. Is yeah. It yes. M I L L. Okay, so the next thing underneath it would be an inch. Now, what if I were measuring, what if I was measuring the width of a twin size bed? What would I use? What would it be about? I didn't want to use twin size bed. Would, it, would I measure feet? Well, well whatever is my dad got <clears throat> my bed. Yeah. He said four feet. So, that's about what? It's about a yard. It's about a yard. Your bed, your twin size bed is about a yard in width. Not length, but width. What would I use to measure my foot? If I was going to put, buy shoes for Sam, what would I use to measure inches? Inch. Inches. Now, my dad wears a size 12 shoe. That's what that means. He's a got a complete foot. Yeah. Yep, he's got 12 inches. Um, what if I were to ask, well, how, okay, the distance from here to the junction? Would that take a couple miles? Miles. I would use miles. I wouldn't want to know, I wouldn't want to lay down a ruler and figure it out. Or a yardstick. Okay? So what if I want to know, watch this. What if I want to know a DVD case? I would use inches. I would use inches. Let's get this off the move in. Because a yardstick is going to be way too big. Right? Yardstick's way too big. Ruler's a little bit too big. So a foot's too big. But if I measured it... This CD case or DVD case is about seven and a half inches, okay? Now, let's talk real quick about mass, weight, weight. Thinking about weight, what is the largest amount of weight that we talk about? I think of an elephant or a truck, because they, ton. They, all, they come on the TV and talk about ton trucks. What about megatons? 
Well, that's still tons. It's bigger tons. Yeah, it's just a larger amount of tons. Okay, so I gave you the answer of an elephant or a vehicle, a car. Okay. Yeah, gun, oh. sun's out, gun's out, Caleb. Um, so what would be under that? What would be the mass under that? Pounds. 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 And can you give me an idea of what I would use to weigh, use to measure pounds? Is that, uh, is that here? A scale. A scale? Okay. I, what, what would I weigh in pounds? What, not me, personally. Is What object would I, would I use to weigh pounds? The thing. The um, food. Food. The people. People. I agree. The thing. Is it the floor? Okay, but I'm asking what object would I like to get a weight scale? I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't want to know what I would weigh on. I want to know some ideas that I would weigh in pounds. Like, talk to me. I know a family there. How would you measure a cake? Oh, foot? Gotcha. Inches? <laughs> what you got, Xavier? A package at a, a mailroom. You got it. A package. They charge you by the pound or the ounce. Right. What about your textbook you're holding in your lap or pound. arms or hands? Pound. It, it's, let me tell you something. When I talk about it, a loaf of bread is about a pound. A loaf of bread. Now, is that heavy? No. No, that's not heavy. It'll get heavy if you keep doing it, though. But, well, what if I, what if I put on 10, 10 loaves of bread? 10 pounds. That's about 10 pounds. Okay? I think about a baby being born. They're usually, you know, 6, 8 pounds. And they look so little. But then they grow to be so y'all. <laughs> or some have not. Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. I love you from a social distance. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. How how would you like measure a uh, cane? Well, are you want the weight of it, or you want the height of it? Both. Well, the weight would be probably um, probably be in ounces. Or maybe a little over a pound. And I would measure it by probably inches. Because I think a yardstick, it would only be like one yard. Okay? All right. So what comes under pound? Ounces. Ounces. Now, there's a difference. You're going to talk about over here in a minute fluid ounces. And you're talking about ounces... In weight, okay? There's a huge difference. I do not want my steak in fluid ounces. Yeah. Just saying, if they bring my steak in a glass, not happening. It's so no. weird how pounded LB in ounces would be. I know. Why this is I never have understood that. I've always said maybe your lower belly or <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Oh, Miss Bethany may know. The Oz story? The Oz? I haven't. I didn't tell them. Miss um, <laughs> Bethany likes the story. So when my sister was little, um, she she wanted to take her fingernail polish off. And she kept pointing up at the, she kept pointing up in the cabinet. My mama, hand me that eight Oz. Mama says, what? That eight Oz. And she says, remember, I don't know what you're wanting. She says, Mom, I need that eight eyes. And she's just pointing and pointing and pointing. And Mom says, remember, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think finally they must have let her stand on the cabinet and point it out or whatever. And she gets the fingernail polish remover. And Mom says, that's fingernail polish remover. And she says, uh-uh. Look right there. It says eight eyes. Eight eyes, Mom. She says, well, it does. So we call fingernail polish remover in our house the eight eyes. We don't, we just call it the eight eyes. So the ounces were 
what she was called, naming it. And she was little, so she was excited that she could read eyes. <laughs> she couldn't read fear in a posh remover, but she had the eyes part down pat. All right. All right. So we have tons, pounds, and ounces. Now, let's talk about capacity. Capacity is like a drinking a, a mug, a cup, or water bottle, a swimming pool, your bathtub, um, the ocean. What all we can put in the, oh, thank you for thinking of ocean. I'm ready to go to the beach. So, what is the largest amount of, amount of liquid that we can think of or capacity? Gallons. 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 Now, let me tell you something. It is a lot of gallons of water in the ocean. It's a lot of gallons of water in a pond. And ponds are tiny compared to the ocean. God created the water and ocean land first. So most of our world is water. 72% of our world is water. Hey, statistics. I love it. Yes, sir. Um, once water gets to, like, uh, unmeasurable by capacity, don't you say just like megatons of gallons? Or? No, you don't, because that's when you would start using metric. Because metric go, we're only going to take a small part of metric. We're only going to start with a small amount of metric, but they would use it in metric. Because I have, I, it's just ridiculous the gallons it would be. Now, what would it be, yes, Katie Ben? Um, so. 90% of my body is water. Is that technically a gallon? 90%? Yeah. No. Depends on, I mean, you and a infant could not be the it same is. amount of, it's, it's, it's body proportion. My gallon, I mean, my weight and your weight would be a little off. I mean, my percentages, you know what I'm saying? Like, 90% to me is not your 90%. Yes. Uh, so, if you were to try to measure that capacity of water in your body, uh, wouldn't you have to have uh, your uh, length and weight before you could uh, contain the capacity? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yeah. Okay. So, you got gallons, which usually, I'm not real good about having it, but y'all have seen a gallon of milk? You know what a gallon looks like? Yeah. Okay. Good. What would be, yes, the gallon guy's belly up there is a gallon. The belly part, the body of him is a gallon. Okay? What would be smaller than a gallon? A quart. A quart. A quart. You can buy ice cream by the quart most of the time. It's a half a gallon. Actually, no. Just kidding. Two quarts is a half a gallon. Yeah. No. But you can buy ice cream by the quart. Um, of quart, you can buy a quart of milk. Did you just touch that? No. Um, uh, yeah. I just realized this. A quart is a quarter of a gallon. You got it. It is a quart of a, a quarter of a gallon. Yes. Because that's how many, how many of them go in a gallon? How many quarts? Four. Yeah. Now, um, if you're looking at the little guy's, I don't know, hands, the two little ones, four of those little ones would be a, well, two of them are a quart. Four, well, four of them would be a half a gallon. So eight of them would be a gallon. So, all right, so what would be less than a quart? I just said it. Pint. And that's why they may call you a half pint. You're a small amount. I always, I always call it pint. 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 Now, this is the thing. You buy ice cream and pints. If you're looking at that little, the milk, <clears throat> when you go to the grocery store and you buy those little plastic bottles of milk, that's what Sam always gets if we go to a donut shop. He wants that chocolate milk in one of those little, those little jugs. Um, yes, ma'am. Technically, like if a six-foot-tall person would go up to a mouse, it would call it a pint. Or Bradley, yeah, would go up to Bradley and call it a pint. There you go. Okay, and what would be smaller than a pint? A cup. A cup. A cup. Can I say what's next? And a cup is like your coffee mug. When I drink coffee, 
out of my mug. Usually it's not a mug, it's usually a Yeti cup because I need a lot more coffee to make the day go better. Um, but the coffee cup, that is a cup. A cup. Um, how many, okay, I, I so what's know. underneath the cup? Fluid ounce. Fluid ounce. This is not the way you want your steak. What's in a what's in a cup? Like how much uh how many how many fluid ounces? We're gonna talk about it in just 30 seconds. F L O C Flaws. The Wizard of Flaws. The Wizard of Flaws. Okay, so if I were going to okay, when I'm cooking, I need a teaspoon. What would I use? To measure that would that be close to a gallon a pint Which one? a teaspoon if i need to oh, use a teaspoon to a fluid ounce, it would be close to a fluid ounce yes fluid ounce okay so if i wanted to know about um orange juice what you would drink for breakfast coke. a cup you'd usually drink a cup of orange juice um, what would I measure that door facing by? I think yard, feet. So if I told you it's about seven foot, is it gonna be seven yards? No. This door facing. Is it gonna be seven yards? Probably not. No, it's gonna be about seven. There is 12 inches. How about one yard? How many feet are in one yard? Three. 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 We decided that too. There are three 
of these rulers in one foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. I'm good. Thank Three you. yards equals one yard. That's so cool, Miss Skinner. No, you're right. Thank you. That's like. Three feet is equal to one yard. Three yards equal. So, let me ask you something. How many yards, I mean, how many uh, inches are going to be in one yard? Uh, the, uh, the 36. Yeah. If there are three feet in a yard and there's 12 inches in a foot, then yes, there would be 36 inches in a now, let's talk about a mile. How many yards are in a mile? Well, good to know. 1,760. 1,760 yards. I might have to erase this just for my, for me only, just because I got to like, make room. You don't ask how I knew that, you know. Just Probably the book. Now, let me tell you something. My husband's a weirdo for the most part, and anytime we get in a vehicle going on a family vacation, he always... Every time we go past one of those mile markers, he'll say, well, there we go. We just went 5,620 yards. I mean, eight, no, excuse me. Reverse it. 5,280 feet. Well, I always come back, well, I guess we just went 1,760 yards. One day I'm going to blow his mind. I'm going to know the inches, but I never can remember it quick enough to do it for it to be a funny joke. So, how many... Your, uh, my, uh, la, 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 feet are in a yard. You just said it. I did. How many? 5,280. 5,280 feet are in one yard. Oh, There's no, no so the inches. I didn't do that. 5,280 feet. Now, how would I do that? How would I find that if I knew yards? If I only knew that I had 1,760 yards. How would I find out how many feet multiply that would be? Multiply by 36. Multiply, not 36. But it's 36 inches in one yard. By three. three. Because how many feet oh, went to a yard? Three. three. Now, let me ask you something. How would I find out how many inches this was? 36. How, doing what with it? Multiply the feet by 12. Multiply the feet by 12? Or I can multiply the yard by 36. Either way would work. I'm going to do... I'm going to do 36, just for the giggles of it. Six times zero. 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 Six times six. 36. Six times seven. Plus three. Six times one. Plus four. Three times zero. Three times six. Three times seven. Plus one. Three times one three, plus two. Five. five. How about five? Yeah. Five. <laughs> so that leaves me six, six, six. thirteen, six. three, six. How'd you get six, six? That's a zero. Oh, that is a zero. I'm just kidding. You're all special So, sixty-three thousand three hundred and sixty inches, inches in a mile. I'm gonna remember that one these days. I just say that. Remember, Miss Skinner. Just but I've been with him for 22 years, nearly. Just multiply uh, 63,360 yes. by. Just do that right in my head going down the road. Yes. While my kids are saying, Mama, can you? Mama, will you? Can you turn the radio? Mama, yeah, Mama. It's 100% Monday. You put 36,360. Yep. Oh, yeah. Gosh! Oh, yeah, Miss I need to go home and try this again, or just not. Yeah, okay, yes, ma'am. Um, how many miles are the school? Uh, depends on where you are. Uh, from here. From here to where? To the uh, to like the little end playground. Probably not a mile. It's not gonna be a mile at all. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna be, be yards. It's gonna be yards. Good question. 
Alright? So, you're going to wish you'd written all this down if you had not. Because it's going to come in handy. Now, mass. How many all right, ounces is our smallest? You told me that there was 16 ounces in a pound. Because when you go to the, when I go to Snookums and want to order a, sna a snake, I do not want a snake. I want a steak. It's funny how the, the T and an N make a difference. And I want a steak. I'm not going to order, uh, if I ordered a 16 ounce steak, I've seen people order that. I'm eating a whole pound of meat. That's, That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. That's a so lot of meat. I'm always, uh, usually I'm an eight ounce. Hey, well, don't make it. Don't do it. Skinner. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Will you send Mark Jones to the cafeteria? I can. He's on his way. Okay, so if I'm buying nine pounds and I eat one pound steak, does that make me one pound steak? 100 pounds. No, I mean one, one Yes, one percent steak. Yes. I, I think I think the 16 ounce steak is one pound. Until you put it. I think the 16 ounce steak is one pound. Yes. All right. So, all right, guys. Shh, shh, shh. We're back. We're back. We're back. So, how many pounds are in one? And Skinner comes in and asks me if I got any money out of the bank or whatever. I, this is, and my brain's fried from looking at y'all all day. <laughs> then I have to, I have my backup because it's going to ask for so many cuts per ounce and per. It, this helps me. And in my cookbook, I also have inside the C's, which we're going to talk about what is in there. Um, I have teaspoons and. Um, tablespoons because I, that's usually what I use for cooking. So let's talk for just a second. So we said fluid ounces was the smallest amount. We decided that in this bottle of rubbing alcohol, there was 16 fluid ounces. Yeah. In the bottle that you drink of water, that's eight ounces. Miss Bethany, how many ounces of Coke are in that bottle? 20 fluid ounces. Alcohol, uh, sanitation, what's it called? Uh, Dermex right there. Xavier, see how many ounces are in that? Fluid ounces. Yes, sir. 16.9 fluid ounces. So, does anybody know how many fluid ounces make a cup? 12. 16. 8. Man, I it's half of what makes a pound. So one cup, I'm putting ones in front of that, 
is going to be eight fluid ounces. Is eight fluid ounces. It was eight flies. Eight flies. Yes, ma'am. The person who built this school had to know the weight of the walls, the weight of the roof, the length of the school, the foot of the school, the yards of the school, and everything just so they could build the school. Well, they would have to. They would have to know what was going to hold it up. Yeah. Would die now, so in in the Germex bottle, he said it was sixteen point nine. So that's about how many cups? Two. It's about two cups. Now. Let's talk about yes, sixteen point nine. Yep. What about? I guess it's a very common. So mine is about two and a half cups. Two and a half cups, because it's twenty. Yep. Good. Good to know. All right. Pint. How many cups are in a pint? I used to work at Baskin Robbins. Yes, I did. Yes, I love that place. I did. I used to work at Baskin Robbins. Yes, they had one in Selmer, and I worked at a sub shop inside of the Baskin Robbins and a pizza place. But this is the thing. I used to have to pack pints. These people would come in and want Jamoka almond fudge or whatever it was and wanted a pint of it, and they were just little pints. But they would pay out the wazoo for a little bitty pint of Jamoka almond fudge, which was a pain in my side because I hated doing it because it was messy. But. Pints. How many cups of ice cream would they get in that pint? Two. 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 If you'll notice, there are, I, I know you have to be way back there, but there's two little C's inside of that P. So, one pint is two cups. So, how many fluid ounces would be in a pint? Bless you. 16 fluid ounces. Now, I don't know what I just did. If I were you, I want to stop after I get this information. I would suggest you write that big G when I get this information written. Big G. Because that big G is really going to be beneficial to you, I yeah. think. It is to me. Big G is always beneficial. Big G. Big Better G. than the big D, right? Mm -hmm. I don't mean Dallas. Now, so let's talk about cores. <laughs> Divorce. I'm going through the big D and don't mean Dallas. Yeah. Oh, oh, never mind. Oh. Show oh. my age. Oh, That's not a I didn't know that you were meaning divorce. Because our maturity level yeah, is off. Awesome. Awesome. All right, here we go. Thank you, Kayla, for that. So here we go. One pint, two cups, 16 ounces. So what would be one quart? How many pints would be in one quart? Eight, eight. How many pints are in two. one quart? Oh, two. 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 Two pints are in a quart. So how many cups would be in a quart? Four. Four. And how many 32. fluid ounces? 32. Because inside of each one of those cups, there's an 8. Are you about to stand exactly? Honey, then don't draw it. We're going to, the gallons, the quarts, four quarts in a gallon. Yeah. All right. First thing you noticed? I get it. Like at the beginning. Yeah. Of the I never it's, noticed that. Well, because you're too busy trying to be it's immature. Slow. Here we go. Gallons. <laughs> One gallon. How many quarts? Jackson, how many quarts did you say was in a gallon? Uh, eight. Four. Four quarters. Four quarters are in a dollar. Four quarts are in a gallon. I'm trying to draw the big G. I told you to hang out a minute. Big G. So, if there's four quarts in a gallon, how many pints are in a gallon? How many? Eight. Eight. How many cups would be? Sixteen. Are y'all following me? Are y'all good with this? Because yeah, if there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, 
16? Yes. And then how many fluid ounces would 64. I get? 64. 64? Yeah. Yeah? 32 times uh, 2, so 64. Because if there's 8 fluid ounces in one cup, how, 8 times, you're telling me 8 times 16 is? Okay, never mind. 32. No, then really? It's, it's in the hundreds. Look here, guys. You have eight, so there's one, two, eight three, times. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's sixteen eight ounces. One twenty eight. Go, Jonah, go. Go, Jonah. And thanks for Bray Bradley for assisting too. Yeah, I was a little bit late, but I found it. You got it. At some point. This information you're definitely going to want in just 30 seconds. I hope you wrote it down. Yes, sir. Oh, All right, here we go. I'm going to write the big G for you. Big G. Hey, okay. hush. Draw you a big G. There's four quarts in a gallon. There's four quarts in a gallon. How many pints are in a gallon? Two. Two pints are in a gallon. Wait. <laughs> All right, two pints are in a quart. Excuse me. It is Monday. Y'all just be fair with me. It is going to be all day. I'm afraid you're right. So, yeah, all day. For the next couple hours. So, there's two pints in each quart. How many cups are in each pint? Four. Four. No, that's two. 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 It's a Monday. It's all day. All day, every day. All day. Okay, so we're wasting time. So, there are... Two cups per pint. Therefore, there are four cups per quart. Therefore, there are eight cups in a half a gallon. So there's 16 cups in a whole gallon. Now, what I do is I'm going to put little bitty eights inside the C's because that's going to represent my eight fluid ounces. Yeah. I don't know fluid ounces. <laughs> I ain't even got that much space. Well, baby, I'm just trying to help you. If you don't want to write it, but I can't get it written. It's mine. I can get it all the way to the Now, we are going to take this information. And if I said... I have nine yards, and I want to know how many feet that is. Three times. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me explain to you what's going on. Let me explain. This is the way you can remember it. Yards to feet. Is the measurements big to little or little to big? Big, big to little. Big to little. You need this information. Big to little. Guess what you're going to do? What makes the number big? Multiply. If I'm going big to little, I'm going to multiply. Because I want to make this number bigger. Because there are more feet in a yard than there is yards in a feet. So, I'm going big to little, I multiply. Well, let me ask you something. How many feet are in one yard? Three. Three. So I'm going to multiply by three. What is nine times three? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Yeah, for the, uh, that's eighteen. Okay, here we go. So if I'm going from a big measurement to a small measurement, I'm always going to multiply. What if I asked you, if I have 10,000 pounds, and I want to know how many tons that is. 
Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Some people are still writing. I want to get it out. Everybody at the same time.
What I would do, I, I would fill out all this before I started drawing, okay? Circle your answers. Show that you, you know what you're doing. When Miss Bethany gives yours to you, we're going to do the first one together just to sort of get an idea of what we got to do. Because the question says, if the answer is 170 inches, if it's 170 inches, I know that's not going to be an E, it's not, feet are not going to go in there evenly. There may be inches left over. So, so we're going to decide. Amount of feet and inches. Yes. You're going to have to figure out how many feet it is and how many inches it is. Like, if, if you could simplify your terms like a fraction, the biggest amount of feet and the smallest amount of inches that you can get. So, let's do this. Let's change it all to feet and see what we have left over. So, if I'm going from inches to feet, what am I going to do? Multiply. Multiply or divide? I'm going to divide because inches to feet, that's little to big. Well, how many inches are in one foot? Twelve. Twelve. So I'm going to say 170 divided by 12. 12 goes into 17. One time. So minus 12 leaves me. Leaves me. Five. I'm saying. I'm going to drop my zero. 12 will go into 50. Four. What's four times 12? So minus 48 leaves me two. So it's going to be 14 feet and two inches. So which one should you circle? The B. Yeah. Now, I know some of you are like, I can't draw that, guys. I promise you. Watch this. If Miss Skinner can make believe it, you can make believe it. <laughs> Probably needed to make believe it. <laughs> Look, it's all good. It's all good. Thank you, Wyatt. <laughs> Look, you can do that. I know it didn't start out looking like that, but I finished up looking pretty much like the picture. It's not, it's not going to be hard, but you are going to need colors. If you don't have colors at home or in your backpack, don't turn it in tomorrow until you've colored. You come in first thing and you get those things colored. Everything else can be drawn. All right, questions? All right, let's go to PE.